and this episode is using the smart document printer. So I'm going to show you what the smart document printer is and we'll talk a little bit about the pedagogical value of using it, being able to print anything that you can get to a print dialog box from and how to use the smart document printer. So I have a Word document here and that I want to get into Smart Notebook so I can interact with it. Yeah, I can use it here on a smart board as it is and use the inking tools, which may or may not work, or the smart ink to interact over this Word document. But for me, if I want to do any interacting with it, I want to get it into Smart Notebook because it's going to give me a lot more tools, a lot more options, and it's just going to be easier. I go to Print, and in the Printer dialog box, when you click on the printer name, you go all the way to the bottom of the list, and here we have Smart Notebook Document Writer. So I will select that. As with printing anything, I can select the pages if I want to do just a single page or a range of pages from a document. I can select those things. And what will happen is when I click OK here, however many pages, since I'm doing all, however many pages this Word document is, it will create that number of pages in a smart notebook file. Here I can convert smart notebook pages with images, so you can't edit these pages. Right? They look the same as they did in the original document. So basically it's just turning each page into an image. We have this other option here, smart notebook pages with editable objects. So it will put in text objects as text that you can edit. The images will be separate from the document that can be moved around and changed. Right? That's new with the smart notebook document printer. So I'm going to go with that one this time so we can see how that looks. So it comes here into notebook now. It was a two-page document. So I have two pages. Notice that it is one image. Right? I can't edit anything. I can click on the drop-down menu in the corner and I have all the standard choices that I have for any other image. If this was something that I was going to be using as a background to highlight, annotate, I would lock it in place. And there's page one and here's page two. Notice the text is moving with the image because the whole page is one big image including all the text down here. This time we'll use the option for the editable objects. Depending on how large the document is, will determine how long it takes for this file conversion. All right. Sometimes it's going to work better than other times. You can see, not a very effective transfer. So in that case, I would just go back and do it with the first option. But generally, I would do that anyway, because if I'm going to interact with it, I just want to be using the pens and the tools and the highlighter, etc. So if I need to edit the document, I'll just edit the Word document. Just if you can print it, you can use the Smart Document Writer. Any kind of a web page, I would definitely do it as a notebook page with images. Right, You have it now, and you can lock it down and do what you need with it. Again, anything that you can print, you can use that. If you can get to a print dialog box. So that's how the Smart Print Capture or the Smart Notebook Document Writer works. It's a very effective way to use a smart board and use anything that you can print, anything that you already have, worksheets, PDFs, uh, any of that you can put right into notebook so then you can use your smart notebook pens and tools to interact with it.